Hello guys and welcome back to Watching Time. So today I am presenting to you the latest, 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 latest release of Zodiac. So for the ones that don't know it, I don't consider myself an expert in Zodiac, but I have almost 30 Zodiacs. Um, between, from the new lines, from 2015, I have almost 25, 26. And I also have a couple of vintage watches. Am I an expert on the old Zodiac? Not really, I cannot call myself that. But definitely, I know very well the releases Zodiac has done since it was relaunched with the Fossil Group in the last 5-6 years. So, anyway, I am a fan. I love what they do. I love what Mike Pearson is doing. I, I love the colorways that Zodiac offers. Uh, it's always been like that. That's the brand DNA. And they have a big history. They were there producing the first divers in 53 uh, together when the Submariner was released, when the Black Paint uh, was released. So it is a brand that has history, it has DNA, it has a shape that is recognizable. The Super Sea Wolf 53, it's definitely one of their icon pieces. I really love it. It is simple. It is straightforward. It is a diver. You can use it in any situation. It has a colorful way of expressing itself. And definitely it's one of the more joyful companions you can have during summer. Even if I enjoy it also during winter, it always reminds me of fun sunny days. So said that, I really love the brand. I love what they are doing. And when there is something that I notice of interest, if it's a new colorway, if it's a new material, I tend to jump on. So uh, recently I bought the ceramic case one with the ceramic vessel. Um, I also bought the Cro the Cicron, the chronograph diver, one of the best diving chronographs I have seen in a long time. And I will tell you probably why very soon. And this new Super Seawolf 53 in this very joyful green color that they are calling indirectly, at least in the promo materials that I sent to you today, that it's the Bahamas. It's inspired on this Bahamas inspiration, uh, the island, the sea, the kind of very nice tranquility of the green. So big important points that this watch is bringing back to the collection obviously it is the classical super sea wolf 53 you have your classical case of 40 mil um, you have your stp inside in this case it's an stp 1 slash 21 so it's a slighter better version than the 11 that usually it's placed on these watches it is a reliable in-house movement we can call it in-house because it's done by the fossil group that they own the factory at the end of the day it's a 2824 eta clone um that it's being produced in switzerland and it has a very good quality so definitely something good i have not had bad experience with stps guys so i can tell you that on all my zodiacs i only had one bad experience and it that can happen in any brand and any watch in the movement apart from that all my movements have been impeccable they work perfectly fine and i have owned them for a long time some of them so said that it is a very good swiss made movement so you have an in-house we can call movement you have this colorful very nice new proposal and the strengths that i see on this one and i wanted to show you the limited edition no it's not a limited it's not limited um collaboration that they produce with a block to watch a couple of it was two years ago it's 21 um that seems similar but as you can see put together the aerial waters it's actually quite different this a block to watch collaboration is more into the turquoise color while this one is more into the green kind of foam um a color it reminds me to the marlins why why does it remind me the marlins anyway um, so it's different. Um, I love this one and it came at a time with a price point that was slow, lower than the one that I pay for this one. 
uh, it has the stainless steel jubilee bracelet also you have um, on this watch it has a very nice colorway and it is cost certified so anyway this is a very nice addition you can still find it so if definitely you like this type of colorway i would recommend that you also evaluate this type of edition that they release especially because it's a cost movement movement so going back to the one that we have today this is this is just gorgeous you have the orange you have the green and you have that black and white piano style that it's going to be changing totally the way you see the dial and the markers the hour markers have that black uh, perimeter that it's just spot on uh, it's lovely and you have the date at free that doesn't really look like the date so in this case it doesn't bother me at all to have the date in the diver um so the other good point that i saw on this one this one only comes on this rubber strap uh, i don't know the material that Zodiac was using because for a while the last two years more or less they have been using this rubber i think it's rubber but i don't i'm not sure it's natural rubber i think it is actually synthetic rubber so it's probably fkm it's good quality but it's thin it's comfortable but it has that feeling of oh, livelihood i don't know and it doesn't have the vanilla smell that i really like i like it so this one on the other hand is thicker you can see the difference here so it's a new composite material uh, they say it's rubber and it has a um, vanilla scent and it's true it the vanilla scent is back it was already here in the ceramic case one so this one is also uh, vanilla scented so my guess is this is italian rubber and probably one of the big producers of italian rubber is producing for them this strap i don't think tropic but it might be it might be the other positive way of this new release is that uh, we have the clasp uh, on the bracelet that it is it has the style also and the shape of the tropic so you have this kind of l shape compared to the old ones that were just straight so definitely it's the same manufacturer also on the thickness that we find on this one so they have changed the person that is providing the rubber straps point apart this is definitely something that only a nerd like me on zodiac can notice uh and i love it because it's back to vanilla i like vanilla scent so anyway this is a positive point the other very weird thing that is going on with this watch is that when i got it a couple of days back they have at that time not yet put the marketing pictures or lounge or whatever so it was not in the zodiac radar let's put it that way and when i receive it i immediately said hmm they use a ceramic bezel insert wow this is something different for for a while you because zodiac it's well known for using k1 mineral crystal um as their insert of choice and why they do it it's definitely tougher and more scratch resistant than mineral crystal uh, but it's it plays very nice with colors because you can actually very easily put any color underneath so uh, you can change the variety of vessels that you're going to be using and this is positive because dun -dun, it is very difficult to do ceramic colors <clears throat> some people don't know this but to go away from your classical green blue and black getting the right pantheon color on a ceramic vessel it's very tough very tough and it costs so definitely costs more than having a black ceramic insert and raises the prices at the end and nobody wants to raise the price and especially zodiac they're using so many colors you cannot take that so k1 mineral crystal it's totally smooth um because it is a crystal that is put on top on the printing that you're going to be doing so underneath you have the markers the colors the pip as you can see here clearly it's all underneath 
and then you have as a sandwich put on top the insert so this is how k1 usually work you will find it in anyone that uses k1 materials for their vessel insert um, this one doesn't look like a one first of all you have dented incise markers so these are actually steps you have holes that have been drilled if you want to put it that way into the material to actually get them filled with this white color in the in this type of vessel you don't see this in k1 because k1 it's it's glass it's mineral glass so it solidifies with a defined shape and it's very difficult to create those canals ceramic on the other hand you compress the powder into a mold that already has the preform holes whatever you want them to have it and then you cook it so it comes out of the oven with this classical we have seen them everywhere you see it in a submariner you see it in any watch it and in the submariner it's filled with platinum in this case it's filled with a white paint so you can see it everywhere you see it's full of them and the triangle that's the other point that actually tells me it is ceramic the piplum is actually glue on top and it has a ring obviously around it because you have to produce it put it put the loom inside of the ring and then glue it or insert it inside of the vessel and as you can see it has a ring so i'm almost 100 percent sure that this is ceramic insert and also the feeling and the sound that this gives is not the same that you will get from the k1 that sounds more like plastic the other thing that makes me say that it's ceramic is that i already have a sea wolf with a ceramic vessel insert and it's this one the one with the ceramic case and as you can see it has the same characteristics the numbers and the indexes are inside you have these canals and uh, the piplum again it has a ring and it has been glued inside of the triangle place inside so you can see clearly that it's a ceramic and if you put them side by side you can see clearly also the color reflection the material type it looks the same so why do i bring this up i bring this up and, and it's the same also for the for the c-crona by the way same same type of insert and actually if you put them together oh my god it actually seems to be exactly the same insert <laughs> i wouldn't be surprised they're using the same production scale so why do i say this again because because um i'm joking about the Sicron. it's not the same it has a small difference but I say this because in all the social Instagram pictures and, and the, the details that they have on the website, Zodiac is stating it as K1 mineral crystal. And when I wrote um, Mike asking him on Instagram, he answered me back saying, oh, well, it's K1 crystal. Uh, Mike is Mike. I, I respect him. It's I will never contradict him. If he says it's K1, if he says that the the Eiffel Tower is constructed on straws, I will believe him. Um, I'm for sure. Right? That's that's something I will be dropping. So at this point, I can only say that Zodiac has invented the best ever K1 crystal in the world because. It looks like ceramic. It feels like ceramic. It has probably the same resistance than ceramic. So, wow, you have here an innovation. They are not selling. <laughs> they are not, or so the options are two. Either someone lost an email inside of Zodiac and <laughs> stated it as K1 and some error inside of the office and it just remained as K1. 
or this is actually K1 and it's the best K1 innovation ever seen because it actually looks, behaves like ceramic and has not raised the prices to actually make the canals in the mineral crystal without breaking it and keeping the prices low. So anyway, guys, I know I have taken a little bit of time. I hope that you have remained until the end to hear this. Uh, please tell me your thoughts. If you're a Zodiac fan, please tell me what you think. I am really curious to hear. Uh, so see you all guys in the next video. Until then, please take care. Hello guys, um, just a quick add-on to the video I have just done. Um, obviously you have heard about vessel ceramic not ceramic um we exchanged messages through instagram recently with uh, zodiac and they just came back the video was i registered yesterday so they just came back today i'm going to release the video today with an answer after triple checking with headquarters i was actually right so someone didn't did didn't do their homework correctly probably um at headquarters i wouldn't be that guy um and they obviously got uh, the specifications wrong this is no k1 this is actually a ceramic vessel so a further selling point if you want for this new coloration because apart from some of the new releases um the original the classical the releases so the black ones that zodiac did uh, one year and a half ago this is the first color one that actually has a ceramic vessel with it. so it's also a first for for zodiac in terms of super sea wolf with a nice coloration so anyway guys um just food for thoughts and i hope that you like this update sometimes it happens especially when you are so familiar with a brand and with materials please take care see you soon